Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Arcanum. Uh, Mr. Drake is standing on the outskirts of Dernholm. And uh, on the way from Tarant, uh, <laughs> aside from uh, numerous random encounters, he stopped off at this wolf cave, which, uh, shockingly, was a cave full of wolves. And with all of that, he got enough experience to level up to 12, so he's got one new point to spend. I'm going to go ahead and put that into willpower, I think. that way, And I'm going to build willpower up to 12, so that he can gain access to uh, third rank spells. And uh, also, he finally has gotten some real armor, leather armor, so he's packed away his wool jacket for good. And uh, I, I think earlier I had said that uh, normal armor counts as a tech item. Um, that's only for metal armor, so leather armor is perfectly usable by magic characters. However, he's going into town to deliver the deed to Saratoon, so he has to put on his proper attire. So, without further ado, he'll head over to deliver the deed. And Saratoon is in this uh, nearest rundown house, I believe. Yeah, there she is. Okay. I am honored to renew our acquaintance. Um, I've brought the deed to the mine for you, Sarah. Oh, thank you. This is great news. I can't thank you enough. Wait. There is something I can give you, though. I don't think it's worth much of anything. I haven't had it identified, but I know it's at least magical. And she gives him a sword. Uh, thank you very much. Good day. So Mr. Drake has uh, this magical unidentified sword. Uh, so we'll have to get that identified at some point. And if we look at his alignment meter, his alignment is already 67 points on the good side. So he got... Uh, uh, completing the, uh, the quest in favor of Sarah... Uh, really gives your character a, a pretty good boost and a good alignment. All right, now Mr. Drake, before he sets out for his next destination, is going to see if he can gain an audience with the, uh, with the King of Cumbria. And that's just a matter of walking into the audience chamber and uh, greeting the king. So, And here he is. I'm honored to have someone of your fine heritage grace us with your presence. What's happened to your lands? We're a poor people now, with limited resources, and I fear my citizens are slowly starving. Cursed technology has toppled my dear Cumbria from its former glory. Um, could I be of any service to your kingdom? I have need of a courier. There appears to be some sort of problem with Blackroot, one of our outlying provinces. I could use someone to look into it. What's the nature of this problem? Two years ago, Blackroot sent word that they could not meet their taxes because their crops had failed. I haven't heard from them since. I need someone to investigate and collect what I'm owed. Five gold bars, I believe. Uh, could they have betrayed your majesty, perhaps? Never. They're my loyal subjects. So would you be interested in such a venture? Uh, what can I expect from my troubles? If you succeed in retrieving my taxes, You'd be entitled to 200 coins and, of course, my everlasting gratitude. Uh, consider it done, then. All right, and Blackroot is also the uh, place where Drake is supposed to look for uh, a certain Mr. Arthur Tyron, who's supposed to inform him further about the, uh, the conspiracy uh, involving breeding experiments and, and the... Uh, the Renard Twin Skulls, the one that he got from Sir Matt de Cesar. But before he heads for um, Blackroot, he's going to pay a quick visit to Shrouded Hills and let Sarah's brother know that he's turned over the deed to her, and also just investigate the mind and make sure that uh, Bessie's ghost is at rest. So, uh, be back in a second, and he'll be at Shrouded Hills. And we're back in the sleepy town of Shrouded Hills. Um, I went ahead and popped over to the wise woman and got the sword identified, and it turns out that it's a filament sword. And if we look at the stats, uh, let me see if I can get them up. Uh, yeah, the filament sword, uh, there is an increased chance for a critical hit, but it has the drawback that it also has an increased chance for critical failure, though it's a bit lower than the chance for critical hit. And it does uh, do, a, it has a good, pretty good damage bonus on it, so this is significantly better than the uh, enchanted sword that he was using before, so he'll go ahead and equip that. And before he heads over to Percival Toons to give him the 
bad news about uh, turning the deed over to his sister. Um, earlier on, he had gotten a quest from the blacksmith, Lloyd Gerlows, to uh, just bring him some pure ore, and Magnus went ahead and made some pure ore uh, out of steel and iron ore. So, I'm honored to renew our acquaintance. Um, hi Lloyd, uh, can you spare a few moments? How can I help you? I uh, brought you some ore. Here you go. That's grand. I really appreciate it. Come back here in a little while. I'll have your dagger for you. Okay, I'll do that. And then Mr. Drake and company will just loiter around uh, Lloyd's shop for a couple of hours. Alright. Delighted to see you again. Uh, hello Lloyd. I've come for the dagger. I finished it. Here you go. And thanks once again for your help. Uh, good day to you, sir. All right, and uh, that was just a, a simple uh, fine steel dagger. It's it's not that great, but this is a pretty early quest. So, all right, so let's uh, head over to Percival Tunes and inform him that he's not going to get the deed uh, if I can find Percival Tunes. I have no sense of direction. Okay, here it is. So just cut across this way. And hopefully he won't take the news too badly. Or actually, hopefully his uh, half-over guard won't take the news too badly. Yes? What is it? What is it? Um, I've turned the mine over to your sister. By the gods! You're evil! You're trying to ruin me! Get out! Get out! Alright, so Mr. Drake will take his leave quickly. And pop over to the mine to see if uh, Bessie's ghost has finally been put to rest. All right, and the mine uh, will still be cleared. <laughs> Luckily in this game, uh, monsters don't respawn. So Bessie's ghost was right down here. And she's gone. But in her place, instead of, I guess, leaving uh, something like ectoplasmic residue, she's left some pure ore. So if you have this, I guess they, they put this in here. Uh, I, I guess it shows that the mine has uh, been cleansed and is now usable again. And I, it's also, uh, in case your character doesn't pick up Magnus to make the pure ore, uh, it at least gives you a chance to complete the quest for Lloyd. So, all is well with the Bessie Toon mine. And uh, if, after we get out, if we go to the Journal tab, if we go to the Reputation tab, earlier Mr. Uh, Drake had been named Hero of Shrouded Hills for helping Doc Roberts stop the bank robbery, and now he's become even more popular around Shrouded Hills because he's the savior of the Bessie Toon Mine. So that's why um, the blacksmith was treating him with such courtesy. Uh, there, Everyone's reactions around uh, Shrouded Hills uh, to Mr. Drake will be around 100 now or so. All right, so that finishes up his business in Shrouded Hills. Uh, when we return, Mr. Drake is uh, going to be in Black Root. We have to go there to retrieve the taxes for the King of Durnholm, and also to try to find a man named Arthur Tyron. Uh, and where's that one? Find Arthur Tyron, and we have to bring him the Siamese twin skulls as proof of this larger conspiracy which involves experimental breeding or something to that effect. So, as always, thank you for watching and please stay tuned. Uh, and we're back again already. Um, on the way to Black Root, Mr. Drake has stumbled upon a random encounter and it's actually useful that this happened now since this video was uh, a bit short. Um, I, this is one of the few random encounters I'm going to show because it's, it's fairly important. So. Uh, he's encountered uh, this gentleman, so... It looks like this is the end for you. No one escapes the Malokian hand. It would have been better for you if you had not survived the crash of the Zephyr. I don't know what you're talking about, sir. Really? I pictured you as someone who would accept his fate bravely, for some reason, not attempt to escape by lying like a coward. Well, I guess I'll fight you, even though I'm not the person you seek. 
Alright, and uh, throw up shield protection. This is a ruffian level 10, so he shouldn't be too bad. He attacks pretty quickly, though. Okay, and he's dead. So he mentioned the Malokian hand, and when we loot him... Okay, he has leather armor, that's useful. He's got a fine steel dagger, and he's also got one of these amulets. And uh, it turns out that this is the amulet uh, belonging to some sort of shadow organization called the Malokian Hand. So now at least Mr. Drake can put a name to the group that's trying to assassinate him. Uh, and we'll find out a lot more about the Malokian Hand later. So, when we return, Mr. Drake will be in Blackroot. So, again, as always, thank you for watching, and please stay tuned.